Praise the Lord. This evening, shortly, we just look into the blood for peace. Lebosh. The blood for peace. Peace is the greatest asset in life. You know, a lot of people, of course, people like to have cars. They have, you know, they think when you have the fleet of cars, you have, you know, a good asset. A lot of people have had, you know, um, several, several experiences thinking that that is what will bring them peace. But I'm telling you, there is a peace. Say there is a peace. There's a peace that passes all understanding. God's servant have told us this evening. Even if you go from this evening, we know that we have had something already. There is a peace of heaven. There is a peace of God that passes all understanding. You know, sometimes, you know, this Mr. this man in the Bible that has 300 wives, Mr. Solo, he told us that, Solo, Mr. Solo said that it is better to be at the corner of the top of a roof than to stay in the house. With a troublesome wife, Omo, he said, you're not, you're not like yourself. Proverbs 25 and 24. He said, it's better to live not in, at the top. He said, corner of the house top than to stay with a brawling woman in a wide house, in a big mansion. So asset, I mean, I mean um, peace is an asset that everybody's looking for. More than anything, every man wants an asset of peace. More than even that, the wife, more than the husband. Everybody wants peace. Say, I want peace. Peace is greater than money. Peace is greater than flat of cars. Peace is greater than any, any amount in the bank. Peace of mind. Say peace. peace. Yes, peace. When you possess peace, you have possessed everything. And that is why the Bible was saying, he said, he said with, with long life, Proverbs 3, 2. He said with length of days, long life and peace. Because there's no point when you have a length of days and long life and you have peace on it. Then you must have lived a miserable life. Without peace, life is miserable. Without peace, life is hypertensive. Yeah, hey, every time. Whew. If you have marriage without peace, there's a problem. If you have cars without peace, there's a problem. You know, without peace, there's a problem. If you have anything you have without the peace of mind, you don't really enjoy it. It is peace that makes you to enjoy your blessing. Say amen. amen. It is peace that makes you to do what? To enjoy your blessing. What is peace? Peace, you know, if you look at the normal peace, you say, okay, it's a deliberate calmness of mind. You know, when there's a ah, peace of mind, there's a calmness in the mind. But there's another peace beyond just calmness in the mind. Hello? There's another peace. Bible talks about, God someone was telling us just now, the peace that passes all under, John chapter 14, verse 20, 27. He said, this peace I give unto you. My peace, say, peace I live with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. The world's own is temporal. Because you have money today, now once more change, you think you have peace. But you see that later you know that, realize that it's not the peace you are looking for. People out of looking for peace have done all manner. But the peace that we are talking about, he said, the peace I give unto you. He said, my peace, I live with you. My peace, I give to you, not as the world do. Not that Satan will do. Satan will give you one peace and take another peace again. He gives you because no blessing from Satan is lasting. So if you say you are looking for something from Satan, you give you one, take another thing. People are looking for money. They go into Yahweh and everything. It takes, it gives you one part, but it takes another part from you. It's not worth it. Say it's not worth it. So, but there's a peace of God that is given to us from him, Moses, because he's the prince of peace himself. He himself said he's the prince of peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 18. He's the prince of peace himself. And he has come that we might have this peace. The peace that passes all human wisdom. The peace that's beyond understanding. That's the kind of peace that we are talking about this evening. Not that any small thing you are roughened. Any small thing, say, ah, what thing happens? Say, you, can't you see that something has happened? Ah, ah. That one, there's no peace there. Some people are even the one that will tell you that, didn't you see that something happened to me? What happened to you? And everything like that. But there is a peace that will make you unruffled. There is a peace in your inside that will make life interesting. The testimony that came out of that place, if they had taken in, if they had given in and they, have, they were discouraged, they wouldn't have seen half of those testimonies. But in that same land, the amazing testimony that came up was, was too much. Was too much because they would not allow a little thing to stop them. Say, I would not allow evil to stop me. Say it again, I would not allow evil to stop me. No matter what I'm going through, I'm just going through. Say it again. No matter what I'm going through, I'm just going through. So you just have to understand that, look, there is one peace with God. There is one peace.
peace of God that passes all understanding. Sometimes they are not as, as, not as simple as it is. Oh. Because by the time you, the things outside is not interesting. It is the, 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 the internal peace that will not help you to stay stabilized in such situation. But when there's no internal peace, you will just go into also panic mood. Hey, who peace. This thing is coming. The word has been declared. Peace of God. Praise the Lord. See, a lot of times, if you don't have that peace, you will lose a lot of things. You will just be anxious. Have you ever seen you had a bad news and you feel like going to the toilet? You feel like just your tummy, everything just starts scattering. And everything just, you just be scattered. Everything will be scattering. Praise the Lord. When COVID started, I'm sure some people... So people were just staying beside the news every day like this. Oh, death rate. That was going to 10,000 10, people. Oh, 20,000 people. And then they were paralyzed all through those periods. That was the season that God said we resumed sight. Because there was peace on the inside. Because you would just waste away that period. You would be afraid, fearful, bothered. Hey, ooh, 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 ah, ah. Ooh, people were seated and paralyzed, just looking. Oh, I'm gonna put that again. Hey, COVID. Hey, COVID. But that COVID period, so people they entered into their millions. It was the most prosperous season for some people. People that would not sit down and just with fear, with fear, they would not move, they would not do anything. No matter what is happening around you, no matter what is happening around you, know, happening about you, everything will end in your favor. In your favor. No matter what happened this year alone, you will win alone. So no matter what is happening, you are going to win alone. It's going to be victory for you. No matter, that should be what you are settled in your mind. That Lord, no matter what it is, it is victory. It will end in praise. No matter how the business is rocking. No matter what the Naya, the, the Naya redesign. Uh, cashless and economy. Uh, you can't network. Have you ever seen your app? To open your app, it is well. No matter what it is, everything will end in your favor. Say all things are working together for my good. Even this one. Say it again. All things. Circumstances. Situation. People. The new government. Everything will work for, together for my good. Say it to yourself. Everything and everyone will work together for my good. In the name of Jesus. The peace of God is not the absence of problems. It's not the absence of challenges. It's not that there's no negativity. But it's that there is still peace in the midst of the doctor's report. It's a report. And don't lose your peace. Don't lose your sleep. They have said that, look at that, our sister. Seven months, something I've seized. Whatever I've seized in your life. Whatever good thing I've seized flowing in your life. From this night, they begin to flow in the name of Jesus. So no matter what is happening around, no matter the, the thing your business is facing, no matter what your marriage is facing, no matter what those children are looking like, look, everything is still working around for your good. Whatever is not written is not permitted. It's just a matter of time. If it's not been written, then it's not permitted. It is only what is written that will come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Peace, no matter what is happening. Peace in the midst of tomorrow. Peace in the midst of problem. Peace, it is a force. A supernatural force. It is what makes life worth living. It's a force. It's a strength. It's a force. We're going to go through that Bible passage, Mark chapter 4 and verse 35 to 41. You just by all means, you must be conscious of that peace. That no matter what is happening, no matter the cash, is it okay when you not get worried? Is it, is it what to not provide something for you? Sometimes I tell my mommy, don't worry. Say, yeah, 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 but I want to worry. I say, don't worry. I say, okay, what will he, what will we worry now do for you? He says, so how do you not know that I am having that issue? I say, mommy, don't you to tell me I know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, other, you know old, old folks can, can worry a lot. And I'll tell her, okay, when you not get worried, you are having headache, you're having eye blood. So what, what good is it? it? Worry, fear, and all those things have never helped anybody. Yeah. Worry, fear anxiety. Go and ask anybody. It has never helped anybody. So don't do it. There's no point. Eh, there's no physical money. God will bring it. 
If you have that resolution that, look, no matter, I will not be stranded in this season. No matter what is happening, I will not be stranded. If you say it long enough and you believe in your heart, something, something will happen. One person will come and pay you some. Something must happen. Because you have said you will not be, because words are spirits. Every word is not life, but every word is spirit. And whatever word you have spoken, something will just be looking and be making sure that they organize that word you have spoken. Mark chapter 4, please. Let's go through Mark chapter 4, verse 35. The Bible says, on the same day, after he had preached, preached, he had given them parable, parable, parable. When evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. You see, he was going to the other side. He did not say he wants to go back. He was going to the other side. And when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. He was sitting in the boat while he was teaching the people. And then other boats were also with him. And there arose a great storm of wind. So in life, there are times it just come like that. There arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship. So that it was, now, it was beating into the ship. And it was now full. And it was in the hinder part of the ship. I sleep on a pillow, man of God, with all the things that are happening around us. Like, how can you be calm? Man of God, you did not hear, you did not see. Man of God, this baby is dying. Man of God, you didn't hear the doctor's report. Man of God, did you hear what my husband said? Man of God, they are chasing me around here. Landlord, man of God, no more, no physical. I was asking somebody, he said he couldn't go to work, that he, was, he couldn't have physical money to go to work. That's not your portion. At every point time, when you need it, it will show up in Jesus' name. Amen. If I'm talking to you, shout amen. amen. At every point when you need the Naira, so much, so much. If you take angel, God will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then he was asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and, say, and said unto him, Master, carest thou not, we don't perish with this. We don't meme far. He said, we don't go. Man of God, we don't go. He said, no, you don't go, go anywhere. And he arose and he rebuked the wind. He said unto the sea, peace be still. I say to somebody this evening, peace be still. Amen. As God someone has declared, I stand with him to declare it again to you, peace be still. Amen. On that situation again, I decree peace be still. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And like film show, the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Then verse 40. He said unto them, why are you so fearful? What has happened now? You are so fearful. How is it that you have no faith? Why are you so fearful? What have you gone through? That you are just restless like this. And people are fearful these days. People are fearful for their future. People are fearful for their marriage. People are fearful over their health. Over doctor's reports. People are fearful over if this job, if this work is going to work. People are fearful over a lot of things. He said, why are you fearful? And he said, and they feared, why are you fearful? And they feared him exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the sea obeyed him. Just as Jesus did. That's why people will wonder at you. They'll be like, how is this sister doing it? They'll be like, how is this brother doing it? If I'm talking to you, shout a big amen. amen. People will wonder, how are you getting things done in this season? People will wonder, because this season will favor you. Amen. And Jesus slept like a baby. Have you seen a newborn baby before? After being fed properly and the diaper is not wet. Sleeping on the mother's chest or the father's body. Have you seen how sound they sleep? Jesus was sleeping like that. And in every situation in life, God wants us to have rest like that. That is your rest. That is your cool. That's just, just, just take your rest, no stress. Disciples were stressed. Waves were rising. Boats were sinking. G disciples were stressing themselves, but Jesus was sleeping. This season, it will be your experience of rest in the name of Jesus. No matter what is happening around, no matter what evil will happen around, that is not your portion. You will not be a part of evil in the name of Jesus. And over Nigeria, we decree the peace of God in the name of Jesus. He was sleeping untouched, undisturbed. When everybody's been affected by challenges, he had, because he himself was the prince of peace. I said Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, he said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He's a person, the Prince of Peace. Wherever he is, he brings peace. And God's have declared anywhere you stand, the peace of God will reign. 
in the name of Jesus. Violence will not be shed around you in the name of Jesus. You will not be a prey to the heathen this season in the name of Jesus. No one here in this house shall be a prey in the name of Jesus. And then the Prince of Peace was there in the midst of that situation. It wasn't roughened because there was a pure trust in the God that he served. There was a pure trust that nothing will happen. There was a pure trust that no matter what, God, you have, him, you have me covered. The Bible says just as this, you know, our, our cells, as, as, as walls in our hands, in our palms, that God has set up, set us up before him. In the midst of the recession, in the midst of the cashless, in the midst of all the woo 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 way, please take your peace. Learn to be at peace. In the panic, you will forget. In the panic, in fact, the people, the fishermen, they were fishermen though. They forgot they were fishermen. They forgot that they can swim. They forgot, I'm sure they must have had those experiences before, but look, everything, intelligent decision will disappear. Because you are in a panic mode and nothing good comes out of it. No matter what the doctor say, relax, sister. No matter what the doctor has said, brother, relax. That is the doctor's report, it's not heaven's report. And heaven on earth is your portion this year in the name of Jesus. So you just have to what? Relax. No matter what, don't be, in, don't be too disturbed. Don't let things disturb you so easily. So no matter what it is now, how do we now connect to this supernatural peace? Invoking the supernatural peace of God. Invoking the peace of God. Invoking it over your situations, over your marriage, over your business, over your job, over circumstances, over, if it could be a court case, whatever it is, invoking this peace. Invoking the peace of God. Number one, you should know that you have to accept the Prince of Peace into your heart. If you have not accepted him, then you can't, you can't enjoy that peace. You can't find that peace because it's a person who wants to come into your heart. He wants to be in your heart, in your life, as your, as, your, as your friend, as your savior. You have to accept the Prince of Peace on your inside. That is what settles it inside. Accepting him, let him come into your heart. It's not just coming to church. It's beyond coming to church. It's not just because in this our environment, everybody goes to church. It's not just going, you can stay in church, sleep in church. It is you accepting him that, Lord, you are the prince of peace. Over this issue, I receive peace. If you are not peaceful, a whole lot of, it, it gets, it gets the whole blood, you know, you know, not nice. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. The Bible says, for he is our peace. Ephesians 2, 14. For he is our peace. Say it again. Let's say it together. I want to go. For he is my peace. I want to say it personal, personal, personalize it again. I want to go. For he is our my peace. He is my peace. Who had made both? He had torn down the middle wall of partition. God is my peace. Jesus is my peace. Jesus is your peace. Christ is your peace. So relax. Let him come into your heart. Number two, he rested on the pillow of his word. God, someone have told you it's about, it's about heaven on earth season. My heaven on earth is here. And, you know, sometimes when, the word, when God will give you the word, it will be contrary to what is happening. You'll be like, eh, in this year, it was heaven on earth. Yes! When Joseph, when God gave Joseph that dream, it was looking like nothing. And then they put him in the prison. They put him in, you know, they put him in the, in the, in the, in the hole. From pit to prison, from prison, everything was not looking like it. But the word still reigned over. That word will still come to pass. That word is still come to pass. So they may not look like it. It may not be, it may not, it may not be looking like it. But if you hold on to it, that this is your word. It's my season. There's no sorrow in heaven. There's no death. See those testimonies. There's no death in heaven. No death around me. No business will die. No family will die. Will die. There's no death. This is your word. So lay hold on his word. Resting upon the pillow of God's word. And then the major one. And that is what, you know, when you rest upon God's word. That is why when things are not even looking interesting, you are still peaceful because there is a God. That, that word is so... Because the Bible says it will, it will keep him... Um, Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. He said, let's read it together. One to go, church. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee? Because he trusted. Let heaven, let everything happen. Da will keep him in perfect peace. Whose heart is stayed? If your heart is stayed on God's word, look, he will keep you in perfect peace. So rest upon God's word. Whatever God has told in the dark, hold it on. The Lord, this is what this is your word concerning me. That this is my this is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is my season of heaven on earth. 
And then number three, you rebuke whatever you don't like, you don't watch. God said, I've told us severally. Whatever you don't want, you don't just be watching it like this. You rebuke it. Jesus did not say, hey, what kind of wind is this? Hey, stand up and rebuke it. And in the name of Jesus, stop. He said, he rebuke it. He said, you this evil wind. He said, he arose and rebuke the wind. Over Nigeria, we rebuke evil wind. Over your family, we rebuke every evil wind. When things are just happening and then you see just from one problem to the another, one disappointment, one rejection, one somebody is having accident, somebody is having one health day, one, you know, mistakenly, one, you know, one something just happened, you lost something. No! It's an evil wind. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every evil wind against your family. Every evil wind against my family. We decree peace in the name of Jesus. We rebuke them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> We rebuke the evil wind, and then the major, the cocoa, the blood is the pre- The blood is the price for peace. The blood. Help me tell somebody the blood. The blood is the price for peace. And especially when a blood covenant has been made, only a blood covenant also can cancel it. The blood is the price for peace. God's word, Leviticus 17, 11, the Bible says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. It is what? The blood. The life of a, God, of a dog is in the blood of the dog. The life of a lion is in the blood of the lion. The life of every human is in the blood. The life of God is in the blood too. That is why Jesus came and he shed his blood for us. The life of a person is in the blood. So the life of God also is in the blood. He said, see, God's word, give it to us in God's word. Leviticus 17, 11. He said, because blood contains life. Church, let's read it together once to go. Because blood contains life. I have given this blood to you to make peace with me on the altar. Blood is needed to make peace with me. Blood is what? Needed. Blood is needed. And there are battles that only the blood. Remember when they were in Israel, in Egypt, they did everything, everything for where, and they go anywhere. They did everything for where until they brought the blood. And when the blood came out, Pharaoh said, come and go. Whatever has held you down till this long, whatever has affected you negatively this long, by the blood tonight, I see you delivered in the name of Jesus. Blood is needed to make peace. The blood is needed for peace to be established. The blood is needed. And that is why they know, so that that's what they look for, this blood for blood of goats. They use, when it's not enough, they're going to look for blood of a uh, um, cow. And when it's not enough, they're looking for blood of humans. I don't know how many blood have been wasted in, Niger- wasted in Nigeria. Blood have been wasted, I'm telling you. The, the, the innocent blood that you just see that have disappeared. In Nigeria, there are, you see places where they sell parts of human being. Ah, reke sutepa. The blood of Jesus will trouble them. In the name of Jesus. So, see, this blood, the, 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 the peace of God was purchased by the blood of Jesus. Blood is needed to make peace with us. Blood is needed to make peace on earth. Where sin, Satan, and death have been, you know, have been have, have destroyed. Whatever sin, Satan, and death have destroyed. The blood has come to restore. The blood has come to restore. And that is what the Bible says in Revelation 12:1. He said, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. It's not enough to have the blood. It must be applied. It must be applied. When they kill the, 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 the animal, they must use the blood on the lintel. It's not enough to just kill the blood, to have the blood. But you must apply the blood. Say, I will apply the blood. He said, Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by their word of their testimony. They overcame him. Other translations said, and they, you know, they defeated him by the blood of the Lamb. He said, they conquered him by the means of the blood. NLT. Yes, they have defeated him. So we have victory by the blood of the Lamb. We defeat him by the blood. No matter what is you know, facing you this evening, by the blood you defeat it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is fighting you, by the blood of the Lamb. This night, by the blood, as God's will come up, we decree them defeated in the name of Jesus. Sound 
sometimes you may even be innocent. Whatever they have done on your behalf. Whatever they have done before you were born. Whatever was done on your behalf by this blood of the lamb. Because when every other thing was used and it was, they were not getting free. Only the blood set them free. By this blood tonight, Pharaoh will let you go in the name of Jesus. Whatever is molesting you, your dream. Whatever has happened in the dream and yet you woke up, you forgot. But you know something evil happened. By this blood tonight, you are set free in the name of Jesus. Say, my glorious liberty is set free by the blood in the name of Jesus. Everything was done for Israel to go until the blood was applied. Every stubborn enemy will let you go from this night in the name of Jesus. I said you will sing songs of victory in the name of Jesus. You will sing songs of deliverance in the name of Jesus. The blood is the only language that the enemy responds to. The blood. Red. Even Rahab. They told Rahab, Rahab, see, when we are, when we are coming, there will be destruction. But just apply this blood. Let red be showing. What red is showing? I tell my boss, I said, when you are sleeping, everyone cover yourself with the blanket of the blood. Let red show. He said, look, and when they came, and there was destruction everywhere. Do you know that that side, that part of, that part of Rahab, and Rahab was wise. Rahab, she called father, mother, brother, sister, all relatives. Don't be, don't be, just, don't, don't be um, um, selfish with your salvation. He called everybody in, and they were saved. This night you shall be saved. Amen. Your family shall be saved. Amen. As we apply the blood, you shall be saved. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 20. Colossians 1 20. And having made peace through the blood. And having made peace through the blood of his cross. He, by him he reconciled all things. So this blood is what reconciles peace. And that is why when there is a lot of blood stain. We need the blood of Jesus to deliver us. To cleanse the whole place. The blood that speaketh better things. Hebrews 12 24. Hebrews 12, 24. By this blood, every enemy against your soul is silence. Whatever is waging war against your children is silence. Whatever is waging war against your destiny is silence. Whatever has held you down in one spot is silence in the name of Jesus. If you are shouting amen, shout a bigger amen. amen. Hebrews 12, 24. And the Bible says, And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to thee, that... So this blood speaks. This blood will speak. This blood speaks. And as to be applied tonight, this blood will speak in your life, in my life, in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you stand, say, ah, the blood. Say, oh, a death has occurred. No need to die again. Oh, a death has occurred. We, no, death cannot enter again. He said he will not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to smite. He cannot come in because, ah, a death has occurred. The Christ, our Passover lamb. A death as a call. He says, the you know, Bible talks about the blood of, I mean, the blood of Abel. He said, we'll speak vengeance. But say, this blood will speak peace. But it will speak vengeance against your enemy. It will speak vengeance against whatever has troubled you. It will speak vengeance against whatever is troubling your marriage. Whatever has not allowed our single star to be married. It will speak vengeance against them. It will speak judgment against them. It's a truth. It's a two-way fold. It speaks for you. It helps you. But it speaks against your adversaries. Stands again, whatever is troubling you, in the name of Jesus. So this blood tonight, it will trouble your enemy. It will deliver you from slavery. Whatever has held you down. People have been held down sometimes. They have tried, tried, tried. Negative habits. You have tried to stop it. Pornography and the likes. Look, there's no good in it. It's only enslaved people. It messes up people's destiny. Whatever is holding you down. I know one young, I used to know one young man like that. Very loving to God. He must always go to Brotel to go and do something. I don't know what is going there. But loves the Lord. He will always go to a Brotel. Every chain of hell. By this blood tonight, we decree it broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever I say, do that. Whatever you have been fighting with. By the blood of the Lamb, we decree them broken in the name of Jesus. 
and we decree your peace restored in the name of Jesus. Say we conquer them, we overcome them, we overcome every storm, every evil by the blood of the Lamb. No matter what has been waging war against you, no matter what we wage war against you, this blood will speak against your enemy. This blood will be a force that will stand for you and stand against your enemy in the name of Jesus. No matter what is the agreement of hell over your destiny, we decree it shatter this night in Jesus' name. Yeah. We're going to pray for yourself and pray for your, you know, pray for yourself, pray for your family. Then we pray for Nigeria. Nigeria, at this, at this stage, we need, to, we need the blood. We need intercessors. And if you are not praying, you are wrong. If you are not praying, if you have not fasted over Nigeria, you are wrong. This is that we are the brink of something that must deliver. And intercessors are needed. Intercessors that will apply the blood. That Lord, over every state, let your blood speak. Over every state, over every corner, over every local government. Lord, let your blood answer. No matter what they have cooked, no matter what they have planned, it will not stand. Only the counsel of God shall stand. A lot of times we are always interested, interested in our own issues. Look, God is more interested over nations and kingdoms. People are interested in that, my marriage, I want to marry, I want to have children, I want to, my healing, my this, my chocolate, how much you want? No, one million that I bet, leave that one. This one, if this one is not in place, if you have, do, 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 do. We need to be thinking about one million, go to work. You have, do, 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 do. Eh? We forbid it in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray for Nigeria. The Lord, the counsel of God alone shall stand. Because have told us, when we will count ourselves after election, nobody here will be missing. Yeah. I said, no one here will be missing. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, let's rise up on our feet. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I stand before you blameless. Say it again, by the blood of Jesus, I stand before you blameless. And I decree and I declare, whatever is speaking against my destiny, what if I is molesting my destiny? What if I is standing against my destiny? What if I is standing against my advancement? By the blood of Jesus, I crush you right now in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray that prayer. By this blood of the Lamb, I bring down. What if I is standing against my destiny? What if I is affecting me negatively? What if I is ruining my, the work of my hand? What if I is affecting me negatively? What if I is waging war against my advancement? What if I is waging war against my advancement? What if I is waging war against my advancement? What if I is waging war against my The blood of Jesus against you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus against you. What if I stand against my health? My children, my marriage. The blood of Jesus against you. The blood of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, we stand against opposition. We ruin opposition. We destroy opposition. Over my business, over my family, over my health, over my fruitfulness, over my business. I lift up the strand of the blood of the Lamb. I lift up the blood of Jesus and I destroy until the blood is applied there may not be peace and progress until the blood is applied there may not be peace and progress so we decree the blood in the name of Jesus, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
We are going to pray for Master's Place International Church. We are going to pray for all our men, our women, our children, our babies. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Anyone that's come into this house to come and be a spy, to spy our, our progress. Anyone that's come here to come and cause evil. By the blood of Jesus, we put coals of fire on their head. We decree this place uncomfortable for them. In the name of Jesus, we are going to be praying for Master's Place that Father, we come against evil wind. We stand against every work of the enemy in our midst in the name of Jesus. Everyone shall share testimony of heaven on earth this year. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray that prayer that Father, in the name of Jesus, every one member of the Master's Place National Church, we have a testimony of heaven on earth. Anyone that has sneaked into our midst against our well being, against of our welfare by the blood of Jesus. We decree them shattered. We decree them shattered. We know we, 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 we spoil their efforts. The Bible says spoiling every work of darkness. We decree and we declare we spoil the works of darkness over our means, in our families alone, individually and collectively as master's best family in all our branches in all our satellite churches in all our satellite churches in the headquarters. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name. Lastly, we're going to pray for Nigeria. We're going to be lifting up that Father with silence, every voice of evil against this nation. Exodus 12, verse 12. Exodus 12, 12. Let's do it together. I want to go. If I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. I'm going to pray for Nigeria. God will pass through the land of Nigeria this night. And it will smite. They will be smitten. People shall be shattered. Evil counsel will be broken. He said both man and beast. Every god of Egypt, everywhere they are put a, a shrine, they are put satanic, you know, you know, concussion. Everywhere they are making incantation against this nation. By the blood of Jesus, we decree God's judgment upon them. We decree God's judgment as this blood shall be sprinkled tonight. We decree God's out to pray. If you're not from Ghana, if you're not from Afghanistan, if you're in Nigeria, pray. If you're not from Kutanu, we decree judgment, O oh Lord, upon the gods of this Nigeria, upon the gods of the land. We offer the blood of Jesus over Nigeria. We offer the blood of Jesus by your blood. Let there be peace in our land, in every state. Let there be peace, Father. Lord, we decree your judgment upon the gods of the land, upon the idols of the land, upon the shattered evil people. Lord, every incantation against this land, we decree your blood against it. We decree your blood against it. In the name of Jesus.